Hello guys, it's Steve. Time for Shield issue 2. Here we go with amazing, totally different kind of illustrations. But this artwork reminds me of all that is Spider-Man's issues. This is kind of, is this Jonah James or something? Don't don't say it to me anyway I think this is the same writer or uh, no not the writer It's the almost the same style of artist has been working here it's but it's pretty cool always I love the amazing spider-man or spider-man shoes or the ultimate spider-man shoes and this one quite quite similar about this the artworks totally totally themes that is pretty cool Oh, did I just say totally totally twice oh my god Anyway, I am just doing reviews today for I have consequently back, back to back. I have done five reviews already and my my just voice is getting choked. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Anyway, so Shield 2 Activation the Animator Review. Comicvine.com after a long time I'm doing anyway but my today's first review from comicvine.com that is Tony Jim and Guerrero. Shield has to go undercover in a high school. Will Miss Marvel be able to help or just Get in the way. At first, it might seem a little odd that Shield might try to infiltrate a high school. Can, can you imagine about this one? Because they never do this kind of thing. They're a government agency, and wouldn't they have bigger things to do and to worry about? The more you think about it, it makes sense. In the Marvel superpowers and deadly threats are almost everywhere. If a suspected dangerous situation arouses, even in school, it makes sense to send in qualified people to investigate. That's why the idea of a Shield comic could work. Someone needs to investigate and police dangerous situations. Local authorities won't necessarily be suitable for this possible dangers that could erupt. In the old days, a S.H.I.E.L.D. comic may have had a more spike Cold War feel to it. Those days are behind us. We could still have stealth and subterfuge missions. I would curious to see how S.H.I.E.L.D. might go about investigating different areas and developments. We have seen some of this in Secret Avengers and this could open up different areas of the Marvel Universe. Having Mark Wade Wright lead this investigation would be great to see. Where this issue differs from the first is the action is scaled back a little as fantastic as it was to see all the characters involved in the battle last issue here. We get more of a focus on Carlson and new to the Marvel Universe but familiar to TV viewers. Gemma Simmons, we need to get to know the new characters if we are to grow attached to them. Also rather than cram in a deluge of Marvel superheroes, we get to see Miss Marvel get some time in the spotlight. It's a great way to give her a firmer place in the Marvel Universe. We have seen her interact with the likes of Wolverine and Spider-Man in the post and now we have S.H.I.E.L.D. acknowledging what she is capable of. Humbert Ramos Earth captures the big action as well as the high school setting. There's a nice mix between the calm moments and when the chaos is unleashed. His style really works with Miss Marvel as well. So as usual, some good things, some bad things are also there. But who is I want to ask who is agree? Who who are agree with me that this artworks are totally similar to Spider Man's that is amazing Spider Man's artworks. Yes, that is the theme is totally totally same. And if you are seeing the review for the for the full whole video just don't forget to comment this one i will feel honored about this if you guys reply to my questions and if you guys answer my questions so the bad things about this one this comic will have a different mission in each shoe that makes it great for people to jump right in but also means things will most likely be tied up neatly within the same issue that isn't necessarily a overlap bad thing but hopefully we'll see some thread carry across issues in the background but with the conversation Jema has in the intro perhaps we have we perhaps we are already seeing that the adventure we get here is a fun one this just the question of will this impact future events in the series we will see will we see Miss Marvel again I really dig Humbert Ramos art but there are a couple of moments some scenes feel a tiny bit over exaggerated as a former high school teacher I was distracted by some little things like shield inserting an undercover undercover agent into the substitute teacher system there the government and could pull strings but I don't know why this is happening anyway oh there's a flight there's a flight going on 
above my house. Inserting an undercover agent into the substitute teacher system, they are the government and could pull strings, but I would question how the school would feel about armed agents being on the school campus and what parent reaction would be after they found out all that fun school politics stuff. Also, are we really to believe a school cafeteria would actually make fresh pizza from scratch? I'm still unsure how this series fits in with Carlson's description in Secret Avengers, but there been quite a fun call me if it all gets a bit much. Also, it was absolutely animated. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like.